Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we were talking about the just released Filament uh, PBR based renderer. Now this is an underlying library for providing rendering functionality for your application. It runs on a number of different platforms. It is completely open sourced. It was just released into the world at large by Romain Guy. Now Romain Guy is a developer at Google. He works on the um, an Android graphics team as well as, as with imp uh, implementing the Kotlin programming languages at Google. And I think this is his 20% project. I don't want to be quoted on that because this is actually used internally at Google on a couple of products we will see in a second, but it is not officially a Google product. That means that technically you don't get support, but <laughs> this is Google we're talking about. When do you ever get support? But anyways, this is a very cool project, completely utterly open source, as we will see right here it is up there on GitHub. Now, Filament is a lot like like Ogre. I think Ogre 3D is probably the closest product you're going to find in scope. This is not a game engine. This is the renderer you would build a game engine upon. And this one is designed to be lightweight and performant on Android devices. But in addition to Android devices, it also runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Notice no iOS in that list. And the Mac OS is through uh, Molten VK because OpenGL, Apple, yeah. Um, so anyways, this guy is something, even if you're not looking for a renderer, stay tuned to this video because there's something shockingly awesome about this project. But as a renderer, let's look at the feature and functionality uh, that Filament provides. So it is a PBR or physically based rendering engine for Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Render was designed to be as small as possible and as efficient as possible on Android. Now you can see a number of the samples that are actually shipped with it. So you see what kind of results the renderer is capable of. And yeah. Looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. So uh, here are your features. The API are available in native C++ APIs for Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, as well as a Java or Java native interface API for Android, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Uh, the backends include OpenGL 4, OpenGL ES3, and Vulkan 1. Uh, Vulkan 1 is actually available on all platforms, so let's hope Vulkan takes over the world and we can get rid of all these other ones. But for now, it's got pretty solid GL support on various different platforms. Now, do keep in mind, this one is going away, which, again, thanks, Apple. Uh, and in terms of features, we've got clustered forward renderer, cook tolerance, micro facet, specular, BRDF, <sighs> Lambian diffuse BRDF, HDR linear lighting, metallic workflow, clear coat, anisotropic lighting, approximate translucent subsurface materials, cloth shading, normal mapping, and ambient occlusion mapping, image based lighting, physically based camera, shutter speed sensitivity, aperture. Uh, we've got uh, physical light units, point light, spotlight, directional lights, uh, tone mapping, temporal dithering, uh, FXAA or MSAA and dynamic resolutions on Android with these features, uh, area lights, fog, color grading, bloom, TAA, etc., all coming in the future. So what that basically means, it is a pretty renderer. Uh, and again, it's designed for real time usage. Right now it is used in um, Android Studio for their 3D plugin and also in the scene form library. Now scene form is kind of a AR core for non-programmers, which I don't really get this product. We'll come back to it at a later date, maybe, but it's a lot like A-Frame. If you've ever used A-Frame, it's for, you basically use markup to create 3D worlds. But I would actually find coding easier than this XML stuff. So I've never really got the point of it. But the underlying renderer for something like scene form is um, filament. So filament is a production proven code and uh, definitely worth checking out again if you're looking for a cross-platform renderer and iOS isn't a big deal for you. As you can see from these results, it can do some pretty, pretty work. Oof, that was bad English. So anyways, what really shines with Filament though, and this is just staggeringly impressive, and even if you don't want a PBR-based renderer for your own use, do come in to the documentation and check this out. This documentation, especially for a brand new open source project, is staggering. All right, so here we are, and this is the documentation for Filament. And a lot of this isn't like how to use Filament. This is documentation basically on the algorithms and logic behind Filament. So if in some ways you are looking at implementing your own renderer, or you just want to learn more about graphics, do be sure to check out this documentation because well, let's start at the beginning and I'll give you an idea of, of what we've got here. And I'm just going to kind of keep scrolling as I talk here. But it kind of goes into all of the underlying math behind the lighting model, the shading, the material, the renderer, all of that stuff, basically. So if you ever wondered how this stuff works, well, all the formulas are here. And on top of that, 
there's actually graphics here. So basically this is like a gigantic free with source code, GLL, uh, GLSL in that particular case, listings showing how the renderer works. Now I'm terrified of this level of math. This isn't personally for me uh, until I, you know, really put my math hat on and jump into this stuff someday. But if you want to know how all these various different shaders and technologies and such worked, this is just phenomenal documentation. So you can actually just look at this basically as a graphics primer. And you may notice as I am scrolling here through this documentation, I am about a quarter of the way in. So I'm going to speed up my, my scrolling a little bit and we'll just keep going. So of course, I'm going to throw this link down below. This documentation is basically a computer textbook completely free that is not only that, but it's beautiful too. The markup is really well done. Um, I believe it used Markdown uh, or Markdeep as the CSS behind that. Uh, but again, here I'm going to have to speed this up a bit because I don't want this video to be nine hours long. But as you can see, this is absolutely amazing documentation. Kudos to the, uh, the author. He basically just gave you a book uh, that goes along with, you know, what's behind the scenes. But oh, God, my finger's getting sore. Yeah, you just read this. If you want to learn more about graphics and you don't give a damn about um, actually using filament, but you want to understand the math and the concepts behind it, this is staggeringly good work. So uh, Romain, bravo to you. You have created some of the most comprehensive and amazing documentation I have ever seen in my life. This is actually even just a great computer graphics textbook. So do be sure just to give this a scan, just to even admire the amount of work he put into this. And all right, you know what? I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the bottom. My finger's about to fall off. But that is it. That is the Filament Game Engine. I, I highly recommend at least just check out the documentation behind it. But if you are in the market for a renderer, this is definitely a capable option. And again, it's under a liberal open source license, so you can use this in just about every way you could conceive. And then on top of that, if you are interested in getting started using Filament, go back to the original GitHub page. I'll have this in the links down below as well. Um, this goes through basically the process of building it, what you need to make it. Uh, and then it's broken down, basically build instructions by platform. So um, you're going to find there's a couple more hoops to jump through in terms of for building it on Windows. And unfortunately, it requires the bloated version of Visual Studio uh, from 2015, which is why I'm not actually showing you the build process. I'm trying everything in my power to stick to 2017 with its nice clean installer. But there are a number of uh, prerequisites to get things going. But is again, in the spirit of amazing documentation, Everything you need to know is is documented in a step-by-step -step manner on building it. So that is the Filament PBR-based renderer just released by Romain Guy. Congratulations, Romain. You really impressed me on this one. Hopefully you impressed uh, my viewers as well. And my viewers, all of you, let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. More specifically, check out that documentation. and Tell me if it doesn't blow your mind like it blew mine. Are you in the market for something like this? Does it work for you? Have you used it? What do you think of it? All that stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Though. And Romain, great work there. Um, you know, I, I might take shots at your company, but there's some pretty amazing employers, employees working at Google doing some great work. And this is one of them. So, uh, you know, nice job. And uh, yeah, guys, check out uh, Filament, a great looking game engine. Oh, sorry, uh, render. So that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.